everyone, it's Uncle George and welcome back to Let's Play Time Splitters. So, uh, last time we finished off the story mode here, uh, the 2035 Spaceways, so as you can see it goes straight back around, the cycles to the tomb. We don't have any more levels to do, we did them all uh, on easy mode, yes, but we did them all. So, uh, that's all of that done, and that unlocked challenge mode for us, and of course we've got arcade mode to do as well. But uh, we're going to challenge mode first. Uh, now, challenge mode, um, much like normal difficulty of the actual game, uh, I can't do it, and there's no easy mode on challenge mode, I'm afraid. So, uh, challenge mode actually starts you off with three challenges. Uh, it starts you off with 1A, Behead the Undead, 2A, Flock Around the Dock, and 3A, Tin Man Trial. So, uh, I guess we're just going to do the, those three in this part. Um, this is actually the second recording of this. Uh, the reason there wasn't a part up yesterday is because the first recording of this, uh, the actual... Um, well, the, the, I just lost the recording. The the recording just glitched out, and uh, much like in uh, part three, it just sort of uh, skipped areas and so on. And really, I, I didn't want that to happen more than once. Once I realised it was happening, I wanted to just scrap any parts that did that uh, from then on out. So uh, hopefully, it won't do the same again here. So uh, yeah, challenge one A then: behead the undead. The old mansion on Gallows Hill is infested with undead spawn. Just the thing for target practice. Shoot the heads off 50 zombies in two minutes to win a prize. Uh, the prize, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm guessing it's more challenges since that's 1A. I assume there's a challenge 1B that comes afterwards. So uh, anyway, our character for this is Detective Harry Tipper. We don't actually have any other options. We've only got uh, the oh, detective yeah. here, so uh, I guess we'll be selecting him. Listening to what he has to say, which is... That's right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, getting on with it. So uh, once again, I'll skip the loading sequence and we'll get straight into the challenge. Okay, so here we are in the sort of main entrance area of the of the mansion level, and yeah. <laughs> uh, remember what I said about these zombies being able to kill you pretty quickly? Uh, that's proved it, hasn't it, really? Uh, but no, these guys... Oh, stupid guy. Uh, these guys, actually the heads seem to be rather resilient. Uh, I'm doing quite well, but there you go. Something like that happens, and uh, yeah, obviously when they kill you, uh, you can just respawn straight away, so there's no uh, risk, I suppose, in, of dying. But they can kill each other, so obviously you don't want to do that because you want to uh, take their heads off. Uh, don't ask me how they take each other's heads off, mind, but uh, I don't know, they do seem to be able to kill each other in their efforts to get you. Um, yeah, but often their heads just won't come off. Or they'll dodge like that. <laughs> uh, really, it's just... Uh, uh, oh, come on! I shot right at his head. He didn't even flinch because he was right at the end of his getting up animation. That's BS. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can't get to 50 because uh, the, the mechanics of it just don't work. See, that's not one of the least of them just died just on its own. Oh, there's still more over here. Okay, bye. Uh, see, look, that, that, that didn't actually... I don't understand it. Is it too close range, or is it just? I don't. I don't understand why sometimes they're, they're, you can shoot directly at their face and the the head doesn't come off, and then you can shoot just off, and it does. Uh, oh, I'm not dead yet. Maybe that's the idea of this: shoot just beside their face rather than shoot their actual head. I like, by the way, when you respawn, you can see your body falling down. <laughs> For some reason that, that uh, amuses me. So anyway, yeah, since we only had two minutes, uh, oh blimey, it's a whole performance here. I normally get at least 20. Uh, I'm not going to this time, am I? No. Oops, I accidentally skipped the results screen there and trying to respawn. And, oh, uh, I'm not doing this again. Uh, I got 28 or so, I think it was. Uh, yeah, confirm. So, uh, no, 2018 is what I mean. Uh, 18 or so. I accidentally skipped that, I'm not going to... Try it again. I, uh, I tried it plenty of times in practice and didn't manage to succeed once. So, uh, yeah, just like the other challenges, um, and just like normal mode, it seems that uh, it's a little too hard for me. So, uh, we'll quit that and we'll go straight back to the menu. Uh, why not update save game data with my failure? <laughs> uh, okay, so flock around the dock. Now, this is an absolute shame that we missed the first recording of this, because uh, I hadn't actually done this one in practice, to be fair, and uh, the, my uh, initial reactions to it were, well, uh, just cracking up with hilarity. Uh, and you'll see why, obviously, when we get into it. But flock around the dock. Hooray! 
duck se hunting season opens today. Seems there's plenty of action going on down by the waterfront. See if you can bag a hundred in five minutes. Uh, if that sounds like a lot, that's because it is a lot. And our character for this one is uh, a new character here called Mr. Big. Uh, I don't know if he's meant to be a character in like the uh, mafia level that we were. What the the not, it wasn't really a mafia level, was it? It was the Chinese sort of uh, gangsters. So I doubt he was there. So I don't know. He's a, he's a character for this hey, level. I'm a busy man. I ain't got all day. <clears throat> Let's get down to business, huh? Uh, indeed, let's. So, uh, once again, I'll see you in the level. Okay, so here we are at the docks, and uh, you can see there's a, a target on our uh, little reticule, and the, the ducks are not duck ducks. They're not like. They're, they're, they're kind of Howard the Duck, uh, if I was to uh, have to make a comparison. And, uh,. They are incredibly weak, and uh, for some reason, uh, I don't know why, but even after all these shots, uh, I have barely taken any damage. So, uh... And there's plenty of them. <laughs> oh, come on. So, obviously the level is geared towards you killing these guys, but I, I can't quite get a hundred. Uh, nonetheless, I will uh, keep attempting. So uh, let's go up here. Is there any up here? Got oh, someone behind me. And I think I've said the first time around. Uh, I doubt they've got the, act the actual Donald Duck voice actor, in, but whoever they have gotten in, <laughs> they've got they've uh, they've got someone who sounds uh, very close. So come on, uh, around here. Are they in the warehouse still? I thought I'd just cleared out the warehouse. You shoot. That's you guys. Okay. And at least this game, when you do run out of bullets, will uh, change guns for you automatically. So uh, that's nice. And I have plenty of bullets for these Uzis, so uh, I think I'll continue using double Uzis. Uh, is there one just... Yep, there is. <laughs> okay, oh, I saw ya. Yeah, I see you here. Oh, I've got him already. So you see, even after all this time and all the shots that I have taken, I'm, I'm not even down, a, you know, a fifth of my life. So, uh, yeah, this, this, Mr. Big certainly has a, a big HP bar? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's some kind of handicap system that they, could, that they uh, have for, uh, you know, things like deathmatch mode, but if there is, then uh, it's certainly using it for this. Ah, oh, there, there's the stairs. Okay. Uh, where was I? You. You. And see, look, I had uh, five minutes to get a hundred, and I'm well over half the time, and I haven't gotten to fifty yet. So, uh, yeah, uh, as as usual with me in these challenge modes, I doubt that I'm going to make uh, the target. But that doesn't make it less fun to just shoot these uh, duck guys. Uh, okay. Can I not get through there? Do I, to, do I have to get through the building? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, if that's going to happen, I'm happy to go through the building, I guess. Uh, who's shooting? Oh, come on. Uh, this way. Are there more in here? Yes. The only problem with the radar is, of course, it doesn't show you uh, <laughs> where they are relative to you in height. So, oh, no, no, no. I'm just like, so who's shooting me now? And I can never find them. Okay. Ah.
Well, at least these Zuzis are kicking the game for a while. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, I can't remember what I got on this uh, first time around in the previous recording, so uh, I'm afraid I don't know if I've improved or not. Uh, I doubt that I've improved, knowing me. Uh, come on. There's one right here. Oh, he's probably inside the building again. Ah! Oh, I can see one spawning. The good thing is they spawn without guns, so <laughs> I can take him out. <laughs> there we go, 81 kills, so uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say that's nearly enough, and uh, I'm uh, once again doubtful I'm going to do that and get to challenge 2B, so I'm afraid, uh, back to the menu with us, and uh, we're going to try challenge 3A, which I'm also going to fail. Uh, I don't say game data, why not? And finally, Tin Man Trial. If only I had a brain. Trouble is, every other Tin Man out on the streets is thinking exactly the same. Can you grab the brain in a box and keep hold of it for one minute? Uh, the answer there is no. Uh, so, the character here is Robofish, another unique character that we haven't seen before. Uh, he certainly isn't in any level, to my knowledge. I don't think he's in even the uh, the Spaceways level that uh, that we did uh, last time. But uh, nonetheless, he's an excitable little fellow, especially when you select him, because he does this. Yeah, so uh, let's go. Okay, so the objective of this one is. Uh, I, I'm not sure what they call it. It's a certain type of uh, multiplayer deathmatch mode. Where uh, there's this brain in a jar, which uh, the, the game calls the bag. And you've got to keep it. And you can do it in more than one go. So I've got it now, and I've had it for 1.1 seconds there. But uh, that 1.1 seconds will carry over, so you don't need to keep a hold of it for one minute straight. That would be ridiculous. But, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Whatever. Uh, uh, let's go. I was going to ask where I'm going. Um, did I get a gun? No, uh, I did get a gun. So I've practiced this one quite a few times uh, in practice. I managed to get 55 seconds. Uh, is that back? Uh, I don't know. But I'm grabbing that carbine because I quite like the carbine. Anyway, the uh, the trick of this one is first of all, if there's a big fracas fracas like this. Oh wow wow wow! I got it. I didn't mean to get it. Oh dear. If there's a big uh, sort of uh, bundle like that, I suppose, where there's uh, lots of gunfire and so on going on. Um, just stay out of the way until most of them are dead, <laughs> is a simple tip. Uh, hold on, grab that gun. Uh, and the second thing is try and back yourself, once you have got the bag, try and back yourself into a corner where you can easily defend yourself and uh, go for this. Oh. Did I just get caught in the crossfire? Oh, I hope that happens. Uh, hold on, there we go. So back here is where I like to sit. Uh, I would have liked to uh, have some more health. And I Ooh, Sapphire Auto Rocket. Yes, best gun. Uh, okay, you guys can die. I can grab the bag. Now, where's my corner? Oh, no! I got lost looking for my corner. Um, yeah. Grab the bag, get into a corner. That's uh, the basic tip. So, uh, now it's just to see if I can actually uh, do that. Get into this corner here. I would have liked to grab the. There you go. Who shoot me? Oh! I didn't think they could. You know what? That's the first time in all my practices that the AI has actually managed to think to stand on that spot in the stairs and shoot at me. Most of the time they run to the bottom of the stairs. That's why I thought that was the sort of best, easily defensible position. Was because, uh, yeah, the AI was dumb about the stairs. Uh, turns out, apparently not. Or at least that one wasn't. Uh, okay, I well, got it. I've got a rocket launcher. I don't like the rocket launcher. It's too big and too powerful. And uh, when the enemies use it, I explode. That said, if I've got no other gun, I may as well have it equipped at least with five rockets there. Uh, what's that? Ray gun. Yeah, better than a rocket launcher. I'm 
it's about to ask, is it just laid there? The answer was yes. There you go, so uh, now I'm in first at least. By the way, the uh, sirens you can hear are uh, part of either the music or the level, they're not going out on outside. Uh, what was I? Um, Uh, so that that's sort of my usual position. I managed to stay there once for a good for a while. Uh, who's got the bag? You have the bag. Okay, that's fine. I'm, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, dang it. Wait a second, what's that? <laughs> That's cross for the, that's the rocky launcher, and that's why I don't like it. Uh, is there usually yes, there's usually a sci-fi auto here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And there you go. This is what I can do in here. So now I just wait. And yeah, it's kind of done about it. <laughs> there you go. See, look, that's the AI not being able to uh, not being able to shoot me from halfway down the stairs. Now, of course, with the amount of time left, I can't actually win this now. Uh, I don't think I could have even then. But uh, nonetheless, that that was the tactic I was using, and uh, it seemed to be working for me. As I say, I got to 55 seconds once, but uh, I haven't quite gotten the full minute. And uh, honestly. Uh, I tried so many times, I don't really want to bother trying anymore, so I'll let this time run out. 42 seconds, uh, if, if, if I had stayed in this corner, that last thing, that last sort of stretch for the whole time, I might have just about made it, but really, I, th I think it was a bit of a no-hoper. But on the leaderboard, I was at the top for, by a clear 20 seconds. Uh, the AI is kind of a bit weird, it just likes to run around, even when it's got the bag, it doesn't like to sort of hide itself in a corner or anything like that, like I do. Uh, I guess just to make it a bit fair and uh, let you actually get the bag. So that's challenge mode, which uh, obviously I'm no good at, but uh, it exists. So uh, I wish I could show you more of that, but I'm just so bad at it, and at this game in general in normal mode, that uh, really I can't get to any more of it. Uh, maybe if uh, I have someone else play the game and uh, complete those trials, I can uh, <laughs> I can see more that are unlocked, but uh, I am very much doubting that. So uh, next time we are going to go into arcade mode. We do some deathmatch. Uh, capture the bag. Oh, is that really just what they call it? Bag tag knockout. There's a couple of other modes. I think escort and last stand. There you go. Those are the uh, those are the modes as well. There's a map maker. We're not going to go into that because that's too complicated and really it's a little bit pointless. Nobody really wants to see, to see me sitting around making a map. So uh, yeah, next time uh, arcade mode. Thanks for watching, everyone, and bye bye.